the moon and I don't know if you got that tip and base as well as barter and tra trade base and there. I'm sorry, my thing just clicked out, so it was like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Um, so yeah, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, hit me up. Um, I definitely uh, also have links below, so y'all make sure y'all check those links below out, and we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into it. Moon in the seventh house. I know that there's a lot going on in the background, y'all. Like, it, it was only here, like. If I go to the back, it's gonna be too dark. So I had to kind of do what they. So just work with me. I hope I am talking loud enough so you hear me. Moon in the seventh house. So what is moon? Moon, the planet moon is ruled by Cancer. Um, this is where we see our hidden emotional, uh, our emotional state. So the people that know us closest and the most, our animalistic nature. So our emotions that come out. Like I said, not only to the people closest to us, but when we in our feelings, right? Um, our relationship to our mother, as well as our ancient ancestral lineage and past. Um, and nostalgia and time is also ruled here. So when we go into the seventh house, which is the Libra house, the seventh house resides over, um, Libra resides over the seventh house. This is where we talk about our romantic, intimate. And like, when I say romantic, it doesn't necessarily always have to be like one-on-one -on -one romantic. I want to be with you, boot up. This can also be our intimate relationships that we have with friends, connections that we have with our business partnerships, and also the people that mirror you. This is where our contractual agreements lie, right? This is where our... Um, uh, karmic relationships as well lie here in the seventh house. Um, so when we are talking about somebody who has a moon in the seventh house, this is where you can see somebody who can be very codependent, right, on others in relationships, or they lived a life of where they seek a couple. This is you'll see somebody who is usually like maybe in and out of relationships with people. Um, this is where you also can see somebody who has an appreciation for art, for beauty, for, you know, just like uh, aesthetically pleasing designs and things like that. Um, this is where you see somebody who is, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just kidding, getting bit up by these mosquitoes. It's crazy. Um, this is where you see somebody who also, because the Venus or I would say Libra also rules financial stability. So some people is where you see um, a lot of times where you see somebody who craves like a financial uh, stability. Um, you'll also see somebody here as well who maybe um, they uh, marry or get into relationship relationships to feel comfortable uh, or to feel fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled. So they like to be connected to uh, whether it's a romantic relationship. Uh, this could be a personal intimate relationship um, to feel very comfortable but i think the trick here is with moon in the seventh house even though this is where you understand your emotions to be i think one of the things that you have to also understand with moon in the seventh house is that uh sometimes you have to seek your own sense of personal validation uh you have to validate yourself instead of validation from other people now granted it is okay to lean on especially with moon in seventh house it's okay to lean on other people for advice because you're definitely going to need it. And maybe this moon is teaching you how to lean on other people. So maybe in a past life, maybe you were very solo, you know, in your uh, pursuits and stuff. So you having to lean on people through your emotions, you know, or the opposite of it. Maybe you were very dependent on other people in your uh, past life. Maybe you are learning how to be emotionally independent for yourself or to think for yourself or understand your emotions for yourself without, for example, somebody telling you how to feel or how to be or what to say or what to do you know um, like I said I'm not saying that moon in the seventh house people don't have their own voice of reason but sometimes you can far lean on sometimes too much to other people but then there's times where you do need to lean on other people and so um it kind of comes with a balance here um definitely now when it comes to your um I would definitely say the relationship to, with your mother you might be very codependent on your mother's um your mother's ideas, your mother's thoughts, her be, think, do. Uh, she might often have a lot of times, uh, maybe she weighs in, for example, on your relationships, like what type of relationships with people you should have, who you should be with, who you should marry, who you should date, stuff like that. Or there just could have just been a very uh, emotionally uh, dependent 
uh, relationship to the mother. Or you could have had a mother who had a really keen appreciation to like antiques, arts. Maybe you're, you had a mother that was like an artist or something like that. So I would say to the mothers out there that have a moon and seventh house child, that maybe um, allowing allowing your uh, child to find ways to maybe helping them and supporting them and maybe even somewhat of a counsel of advice but more so being like maybe for example turning the conversation like so what do you think how do you feel about it what do you think you should do versus it being like well you need to be doing this and you need to be doing that and this is how you should do this and this is how you should do that you know so you know and i know it's moon in the seventh house so it's like well i should on not to say that you can't but you just need to have a balance between like i said you and other people so that's what i have oh and also to pr pr prioritizing your own happiness over other people's because sometimes like i said it can be a little lopsided here so that's all i have for moon in the seventh house we're going to move on to moon in the eighth house and then we're going to finish next week this series from 9 to 12. you already know what it is if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can hit me up those links below make sure you like share subscribe it rains on checking in, checking out without a doubt.